Hi friends, welcome back to the channel here again today at C2 Tactical in Scottsdale. Haven't done a video on a braced pistol in a while. This is my SP5 with an SB Tactical pistol brace on it. This is a pistol. And I wanna talk about how I teach using pistol braces and why yes, this is a pistol brace, not a stock. The Black Arch Protoss holster is the only hybrid like holster that I can recommend. It does everything that a holster needs to do and is great for strong side carry. They're part of our holster consortium. Go check them out at the link in the description. Funny enough, a bunch of people alerted me to the fact that when there were some congressional hearings on pistol braces earlier in 2023, Senator Schumer uh, actually had one of his aides find one of my videos on Active Self-Protection Extra YouTube channel uh, where I said, we all know what people use these for. It's a pistol brace and we know what people use these for. And he used that as an aha moment to say, oh, oh, see, everybody knows, including the gun instructors, that they're used as stocks. Hogwash, this is not appropriate as a stock, okay? So I take umbrage with Senator Schumer, okay? So please, do better, sir. <clears throat> and uh, number two, um, if you wanna have an in-depth guide on this, uh, I recently was an expert witness in a case out of Detroit where a person was charged with illegal possession of a short barrel rifle for having this very pistol brace on his particular gun. And uh, we refuted those charges in Michigan court and won that particular charge. So the whole, uh, the, the entirety is in the Asp Unlimited app. And, and it's pretty eye-opening. And I'd encourage you to go watch that, especially you know, if you're an Asp Unlimited subscriber. And if not, go, t go start a trial for goodness sakes and we'll go watch that. Um, and it's 10 bucks a month, gracious sakes. It's not that much in 2023, 2024. Anyhow. Uh, let's talk about the pistol brace and why it's important, right? So, so this is a pistol, okay? And if, uh, I'm gonna just kind of stay here. This is a safe direction, right? This is a block wall and, and I have a, a known unloaded gun, but nobody's down this way. That, that if I were to just push this pistol out in front of me, and this SP5 is a pistol, right? So if I just push this pistol out in front of me and I start shooting, everybody knows it is gonna wiggle. You're gonna get a lot of wigglies and it's kind of hard to keep on, on target. And that was one of the problems with the MP5 when it first came out, of course. You know, when you do it in full auto, you'll really see it, right? This one's a, uh, you know, a peasant approved one. So it's semi-automatic only because, you know, I'm a peasant. So, uh, but when you stick it out in front of you like this and it's gonna kind of wiggle around a little bit. So of course then they put a stock on it to say, aha, now what I wanna do is I wanna get down on it, pull it tight into me, and then I can pew, 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 like this and it doesn't wiggle around as much. Okay, fine, except for then if I do that on a gun like this with a short barrel, now I've created a short barrel rifle. And so in, uh, uh, either I get a 16 inch barrel on my MP5, my SP5, which kind of stupid, honestly. Uh, if I'm gonna run a barrel that long, I probably run a, a, a rifle cartridge, not a pistol cartridge. I wanna keep it a pistol. Also, what about people, so if, if I'm young, strong, fit, I might be able to kind of just muscle, just, and just push really hard, pop, 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 and keep it fairly close with something like a red dot on it, like this one. But what if I don't? What if, what if my, my shoulder hurts, right? What if I got a shoulder problem? Now, what these pistol braces kind of were originally designed to do is somebody who only has one hand. You know, they think about somebody who can't use their support side hand. They think about somebody who was injured and that isn't available to them. So they stick their arm through that and it, it ties around their arm so they can shoot this one handed. And in particular, that's because of the federal designation that a pistol is designed to shoot one handed. Okay, fine. Uh, in the case that we were dealing with in Michigan, Michigan's statute didn't uh, deal with that, so we didn't have to mess with that. But I'll tell you what it does for me. I can shoot this pistol one-handed, and I can use that to kind of balance it, do those kinds of things, because I'm fairly strong. But what I actually do with this is, why is this not useful as a stock? Well, simply, let me show you. You can see right here down the pipe here that this is just too flexible. Okay, so this stuff here, because it's, it's not designed for that, it doesn't have this, the rigidity that we need in the toe in order to function well as a stock. It's just not what it's designed to do. So we don't use it like a stock. Simple as that, we don't use it like a stock. I, I mean, if you had an AR buffer tube, I could stick, if you wanna worry about the heel of the gun, I could stick an AR buffer tube on my shoulder, 
But now I gotta get way down on the gun, right? So if I'm doing that, I gotta get way down here like this. Super uncomfortable, very difficult for people who have neck problems. Very difficult for people who uh, you know, have any kind of strength challenges. So this is a very useful tool though for all of us because what I do is I use it as a cheek weld. So I want to solve the problem of the gun wiggling around out in front of me. I don't want to deal with, with stock issues because I create a short barrel rifle. So I take a pistol, I use this as a cheek weld. So what I'm doing here is I'm sticking this on my cheek and you can see I don't have it extended all the way out, right? So it's not extended to its farthest place. It's not pushed all the way in. I could push it in further if I wanted to, but because it has this broad wide side, Okay, this broad wide side lets me use it and put it against my cheek and push in. I smush my cheek like this. So in that way, it's, it gives me a third point of contact that's not on my shoulder. Again, a rifle by its definition is designed to be shouldered. But of course, there's plenty of people that have shoulder problems. There's plenty of people who can't shoulder a long gun or that would be very problematic for them for many reasons. So we don't use this on the shoulder, we use it on the cheek. And that's one of the advantages here. So it can be used with your arm down it like this and stuck out in front of you. Uh, that's the advantage of something like a red dot sight. It's got infinite eye relief. <clears throat> but here also, what you're gonna see me do here is, is just turn down range and I'm just gonna push out here. I'm using good push pull technique and then pushing. I'm, I'm using this strong side hand and pushing in and pushing that cheek piece into my cheek. And you notice here, you see, is that gun on my shoulder? No, it's not on my shoulder. In fact, it's a couple of inches from my shoulder. I don't wanna shoulder this. And that's how we use this right now. Now, of course, people are gonna ask, oh, John, so did you register that? Well, I was always covered under the exemptions, right? I'm a Firearms Policy Coalition member. I'm a Second Amendment Foundation member. I'm a Gun Owners of America uh, member and all those things. So all the injunctions applied to me, okay? Uh, and all of the, the preliminary injunctions. Currently on a complete injunction uh, in the, the application of this to a short barrel rifle. So today, as this video is made and as it's launched, this is a pistol. This is by statute, by definition, a pistol, and it is being used as a pistol. So this is completely legal in every sense to own, in every sense to be out shooting and all that stuff, okay? I did take the other ones down when the, when the injunction started. I didn't want YouTube to start giving me strikes, and so I didn't, you know, I, I took those down, which sucks. But, you know, uh, I hope I don't have to do that with this one. You get some knowledge out of it. All right, let's shut up, let's shoot. Let me just show you a couple of them. We gotta put a few rounds down range. I do love this particular gun. It's got an MP5 SD can on it. So this MP5 SD can, um, not with these 115s I just put in it, but with a, a little bit bigger, a little heavier rounds, it's actually hearing safe indoors, which is kind of cool. Uh, it's, is it a big, humongous suppressor? Yeah. Does it make the gun stupid long? Yeah. Is it super cool? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so again, if I stick, I just kind of want, want you to watch the muzzle. So if I just stick it out here in front of me, uh, I'm gonna, uh, yeah, I'll just shoot here in this, in this middle target. So if I just stick this out here in front of me, you can see it kind of wiggles around, wiggles around, wiggles around. And I can shoot alphas with it out here at 10 yards without too much issue. But, but it's, you can see it kind of, and I'm kind of working on it, right? But if instead, if I just cheek weld it here and I go, Much, 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 much less movement, right? Allows me to shoot with kind of minute of alpha accuracy relatively quickly, and I'm not shooting it as fast as I can. So again here, what I'm using here for a technique is I am using a cheek weld. That's what I've designed, that's what I use this for, that's what it's for. So for Senator Schumer and his aides, we all know what these are used for. They're used for pistols. They're used to make a pistol more effective for people with with maybe Parkinson's disease, that have a tremor and a shake and they need a third point of contact without it being a rifle. We use this for people who have limited hand strength, who can't necessarily pull real hard because it might hurt their shoulder. Uh, we use this for all these kinds of things that make a pistol a useful tool where a rifle or a short barrel rifle wouldn't be. Hope that helps you.